Here are a few hidden Power BI tricks and tips and hacks that you may not know about. Let's go. Okay, some little tips. Um, the first one is my little pie chart tooltip trick. So I want to add a little pie chart, okay, to trigger a tooltip. But all I'm going to put in there is this measure called tooltip trigger. And here it is. It's just tooltip trigger equals one. That's all it is. So I'm putting that measure into that pie chart. I'm going to turn off everything from the pie chart. So I don't want the details label. I don't want the title that goes off. Effects, the background can be off. And then you can just make it small. Okay. So there's my little pie chart and I have it as a little information dot. And then I want to trigger a tooltip. And the tooltip I've triggered is one over here. I've got this little GIF on here. I'll show you how to do this in two weeks time, how to create a little GIF with a little instruction. So in that tool tip, in that box, there, I've got the tooltip trigger box. Okay. So I go back to my page and now I just hover over this and it triggers up the tooltip and shows me, you know, here's some, what you can do with, with that chart. Okay. So that's tooltip. That's little tip number one. All right. If I want to move this, okay, so I want to grab this little tooltip, a little pie chart, a little tip from, um, I think it was Arno Wakefer. I think I saw this on LinkedIn. So you can just drag this using the little handle at the top. Okay. I know you can drag it via the side or via the middle, but you often end up clicking on it or you just don't quite grab it. The fact that you can click on this and drag it, I thought it was a nice little tip. Yeah, that little expand, that little uh, three dots. Okay, good little tip. Okay, uh, moving pages. I've done this one before, but I think it's great. And I think more people need to share this tip. If I want to move this to, to the beginning, you have to drag it and then drag it again. Um, by the way, try not to have a massively wide report in terms of tens, twenties, thirties of pages. It's not great. But if you suddenly start sneaking over into the, you know, the scrollable list, especially if the names are long, then this is it. You just pick it up. Then you press tab. So I've clicked and dragged it. See the pages up, press tab until you get to the end and it goes back to the beginning and then I can go and drop it. Okay. So there we go. Little tip about how to move it to the front. Um, Jeff Weir on Twitter, um, he posted this one as well. So once you go publish to web, okay. So if I go to my published web one, you get this little box down the bottom for navigating through the pages, but you can click on it and it gives you the navigatable list. Okay. What a great tip. Okay. So that's on the published to web version, you know, the free published to web option. So that's another great tip. Um, okay. Back into the Power BI report. If I want to go to, uh, let me go to this page here. I've got some little things set up. Um, the slicer, okay, change it to buttons by the drop down list. And then you go over here to slicer settings horizontal, okay, which is great. So that's nice little buttons. Um, if you want to make them look a bit 3D ish, then you can go to values, uh, border, and you can just turn, go for a sort of a, a slightly darker color, okay, and go bottom and right. And then you've got more 3D-ish type effect. Okay, nice little touch. Um, sorting things, multi-sort. I want to sort this by month and then by actual cost. So you click on month, so that sorted it. Okay, then I hold shift and click on actual cost. Um, actually, I'd like it the other way, so I'm keeping my finger on shift. Okay, and here's my actual cost. And then I want to, you could hold shift and sort by multiple columns, which is great. And then the last little thing I want to show you here is let's say I want my negatives to show as brackets. Well, if I go over and click on my measure for budget and I come up to my menu bar, it's not obvious, but you can actually double click in here and format it any way you want. So hash, comma, hash, hash, oh, sorry, hash, comma, hash, hash hash comma hash zero, that's your positives. Then you do a semicolon. I'd like my negatives to be in round brackets. So round bracket, hash comma hash zero. Okay, close the bracket on the end. 
semicolon, and if there are zeros, they're like a dash. So that's the formatting structure for doing that. And you can see now we've got the brackets. You can't do the word red like you can in Excel to make them go red. Okay, unfortunately not. Um, if I go into the data model view and I go to my budget and I scroll down here, custom format, that's where it is. You can go learn more and find out some of the other sort of, you know, um, indicators, little codes you can use to change the, the um, format. That's awesome. Uh, and then a couple of last little tips. Use folders. So I've grouped my variance measures into folders. Let's say you're doing tooltip triggers or other things, put them in a folder. So here's a tooltip trigger. And let me put another one in. I don't know which one I'll do. Let's go number of invoices, right? Hold control, select both. Display folder, um, helper info, press enter. And then these two are now moved into the helper info table. And you can drag them between. If you don't want the folder anymore, you just delete the folder name, which is great. Also, add descriptions to things. Add descriptions to your measures. Add descriptions to your tables. Okay, here's the budget table. You know, from Excel file uh, on Team A SharePoint. You know, just something useful because when you do that as well, you know, it, hov it when you hover over the table, you actually can get some information from these things. Okay, so on here, I now hover. And there the description pops up okay which is great same thing with measures you can get the description to pop up when you hover over your measures um and again if i hover over this budget table see it tells you it's there so take the time document stuff okay that's enough for today i'll make sure i post a video in two weeks on how to do that little animated gif tooltip stay tuned if you like this stuff please share it let me know what you think. Did you know any of these tips? Are there any other ones you think are really good that I should add for my next one? I'll be doing a power query tips coming up. Hope you find it useful. Catch you later. <laughs>